Hi, Deirdre McNamara here from Metro Kenny IT. Um, today we're going to take a look at the Aloha Manager uh, POS uh, software. Uh, and the version I'm looking at is version 17.8.0.486. It's a new version out uh, in 2017. Uh, the front of house version is version 12.3.48. Um, I'm using it in a virtual uh, environment here and we have a classroom situation set up. So I just uh, put that up here so you could see uh, the details of the version we're using. Okay, so we're going to start off um, by making sure <coughs> um, that we have a, a, a menu set up. So we're just going to go to maintenance menu, menus. Now, because this is a training environment, we have a number of menus set up, and I'll just show you the one that we're going to use in this classroom situation. That's actually our live classrooms uh, menu, but the one we're going to use in class, just for practice purposes, is uh, the restaurant class menu. And if I go to the layout tab, you can see the different options. We've got beer, soft drinks, wine, and champagne. We've starters, mains and sides, and desserts. And they're the sub menus that are available. And if you actually hit page down, we have a number of other bits and pieces, books and papers, snacks, hot drinks, cocktails, etc. Um, that are all available there for you. So I'll just close out of that for the moment. Okay, um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up um, some items. So we're going to go to maintenance menu items. Maintenance menu items and we click in here. Okay, uh, now there's a few different ways of looking at it. There's, there's this view here where you can see the details of each of the items. And if you click in here and go to grid view, you can see the details in a sort of a spreadsheet format of the different uh, item numbers that are over here. I'll take you back uh, into normal view again. Um, and in here, we'll scroll along. And uh, you can see, for example, in this uh, situation from 100, and it could be different in every system, uh, to... Uh, 200 are starters, from 200, I think, to 300 are mains, uh, side start at 300, uh, etc. Uh, modifiers, and we'll take a look at those later on, are at 350. Desserts start at 400. And you can scroll down. This has a sort of a, a menu that isn't used very often for pizzas. Um, etc etc and you can scroll down and see we've got cocktails at 500 and generally you sort of keep everything together so it's easy to find different uh, bits and pieces so <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to create some mocktails um, so the position I think we'll make it uh, is I was looking along for a free number um, I think we'll start off at 800. I'm looking here and there's a nice gap between the last number here is 734 and 3999 is the next one used. So there's a nice gap in there. We're going to start off at 800. Okay, so I can see that there. So in here, I'm going to click on uh, new. Okay, and instead of uh, taking number two, which has been offered to me here, I'm going to type in 800. And I'm just going to create a little heading for this thing here. So following the pattern that's always there, I'm going to type in mocktails. And the chip name, etc., should come in. And this is just a little heading to make it easier to find the particular thing we're looking for. Um, so I'll click on save there. Uh, oh, sorry, I need to put in, even though it's just a heading, it, it insists uh, that you actually... Uh, I might put it on under... Not that it really makes much difference. Um, I'll put it in under beer. Okay, and I'll hit save. Uh, I'm not going to update, uh, and I'm just going to say, I don't want to be asked that. We're not going to update the front of house uh, in real time. So we have a little heading in here. So now when I'm looking along through this list here, it should be easy enough to find the mocktails, and I've got a little heading uh, in there for it. Okay, now we'll actually go and create um, the actual mocktails. Um, so I'm going to click on new um, and it automatically puts it to uh, the next uh, heading, free number. So it went from 800 to 801 and in here the short name, <coughs> um, this is the name that will appear on the actual uh, button on the cash register. So in here I'm going to say MCK which it means mock, not the MCK, uh, and white Russian. Um, now, if you want the Russian to appear on the next line, it's uh, forward slash N. Oh, it's too long. Why? 
Mais. And Russian. <clears throat> okay. Uh, and in here, um, this is on the actual uh, chit or the um, that'll come through in the printer. So we'll just we don't need it to go onto a new line. And this is the actual what will appear on the actual receipt for the customer. So I need the full uh, white, uh, and I think the maximum up here is twenty five white. So um, <clears throat> we can put in a, an image uh, if we wanted to in there, and anything you want to get into the fine details of, you can actually click on them here, and it'll allow you actually uh, put in some details. Um, <clears throat> so uh, another important thing in here is to make sure that you uh, choose uh, the sales or retail category in here, um, and we will put it into... Okay, so we've put the sales retail category uh, to drinks. Uh, so in here, I just couldn't find it before. So it's 1250 to drinks. That's fine. Put the tax group uh, to uh, 23% and hit save. Okay, and we'll go to new and that brings us up to 802, which is the next number available. And in here, we're going to create... Um, Mock um, Banshee. Uh, we'll get rid of the. Um, and again, we're going to go to the tax group, will be um, twenty three percent. And we're going to go to drinks now. I'm going to sort that by name and then alphabetically it's under drinks. And we'll save and we'll just create one more. And uh, again, it's we've moved up the numbers. So um, a mock cosmopolitan. Okay, and 23% and drinks. Okay, and save. So we've, we've created our three items, but these actually won't appear anywhere yet. So what we have to do is we have to create a sub-menu uh, and then place these items on a sub-menu. Uh, <clears throat> so we haven't got a mocktail sub-menu uh, as uh, yet. We had uh, drink, champagnes and uh, soft drinks. Uh, and beer, I think, already as a sub-menu on the uh, main menu that we're working on. So we're going to go to, we'll close this off here. Okay, so we go to maintenance, menu, sub-menus. Okay, and just to see what sort of sub-menus we have at the moment, you can see these are our live restaurant sub-menus, and then we've got different, we've got beer, hot drinks, uh, desserts, spirits, all of those items that appeared on the main menu that we saw uh, in the initial stage. So we want to create a new one, so we're going to click on new. Uh, it has given us number four, which is fine. So short name, we'll call it mocktails. Long name is fine, um, and uh, that's fine. So we'll hit save. That's grand. So we have uh, created uh, our new uh, uh, submenu. We now need to put these three uh, uh, items on it. So here's the layout of the uh, mocktail submenu. So in here, we're going to click in here and we're going to choose uh, our item, sorry. Uh, and down here, it was number 801. So I scroll down and find uh, number 801. Uh, and again, we have different uh, we've price levels, which we can do later. Uh, at the moment, we'll just take item price, which is fine. We'll fix that up later uh, and we'll choose a, a price level uh, at a later stage. OK, so we've got the white Russian in there and <coughs> we're going to go with 
and paste O2. O uh, the Banshee. And in here, uh, we'll go with 803 Cosmopolitan. Okay, so we've got our three items here on a sub menu. Now that looks like it's all going to work perfectly, but actually it'll go nowhere yet because we have to make sure that this sub menu is then attached to the main menu. Okay, so at the moment, these drinks are on the sub menu, but the sub menu doesn't appear anywhere. Okay, so we'll save that there uh, and we'll close it, which is fine. So if we go to maintenance menu, menus. Okay, make sure that we're looking at uh, the class menu and we look at the layout. Okay, so this is what's on it at the moment. So we've got beer, soft drinks, wine and champagne. We've starters, mains and desserts uh, on the first screen. Now you can scroll down to other ones. What we'd like is that mocktails appear here. Okay, so we're going to click uh, in here uh, and in here we will choose our mocktails, which is number four. OK, so you can see mocktails. It looks slightly lighter colour, but that's all right. The minute you click away from it, it'll turn dark blue like these ones in here, which is absolutely fine. So we'll click on save. OK, um, I'll just run the front of house. I'll hit pause for a second and show you how uh, this will work on the live uh, machine. So I'm just going to uh, go to, uh, you know, uh, utilities, sorry, Aloha Manager. Uh, refresh POS and OK. Okay, we're just going to open up the table service and click in here. And I've got the Millennium Restaurant, for example, so I can click in here, put in the number of guests and OK. And you can see I've got beer, that's what I'm looking at at the moment. I've got my soft drinks, I've got my wine and champagne, and I've got my mocktails. I've got my white Russian, you've got your banshee and your cosmopolitan over here. Okay, and that's we've added this button here, which these are sub menus, which are all part of the main menu. And here are the items that are on this sub menu that are part of the main uh, restaurant OIT me uh, menu. Okay, that's the end of this video.